Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you in 10 minutes how to recap your G07 or G07 arcade monitor. Now, these monitors were pretty much standard fare in most 80's coin-op arcade machines. Um, this particular model is a 13 inch G07 and it came out of a centipede cocktail table. Now I'm in the process of recapping the board that goes to the monitor in hopes of giving it a better picture and uh, keeping the monitor going. Now on the back of the monitor you'll see here that um, I've already removed the boards and the suction cup as well as any of the wires coming off the tube itself. Um, you'll have to discharge the monitor before removing this cap and this, uh, you know, hole right there. Uh, there's a lot of other YouTube videos that talk about how to safely do that. We're not going to really get into that in this video. But, um, now we're going to go take a look at the actual board. This is the G07 board. And basically what you're seeing here is the main board, which is obviously the bigger board, and then your CRT board there at the top um, that actually connects to the CRT monitor inside the chassis uh, with that white connector in the middle. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do before you do any removing of capacitors is you're going to want to go over here to this section where you see this kind of metal shield covering a little section of the main board and it's soldered on two locations um, looking at this the bottom left and sort of the middle top right um, both are going to have soldering points and you're basically going to have to desolder those um, and then once they're both desoldered you can uh, basically remove this shield I've already desoldered it so I could show you and there's kind of the parts that are sticking through the board so go ahead and remove that and underneath it, you can see there's three capacitors there. Sorry if it's a little dark. And those are all going to need to be replaced. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to point out that kind of the main thing with this one that's a little strange is this particular capacitor right here. And that is actually C302. And it's um, mislabeled on the bottom of the circuit board for where the positive and negative are located. So you're going to want to make sure that the negative is pointing to the left um, on that green dot there to the left. That's where your negative lead is going to go. If you look on the other side of the board, you can see that, let's see if I can focus it it's saying that that's the positive right there on C302 but that's actually the negative so just make sure that you um, take note of that when you're soldering all the other ones are going to follow your standard soldering procedures for capacitors um, and I've already gone ahead and actually desoldered this one as well so pull that guy out so I'm gonna get started and I'm just gonna kinda quickly come back every view and show you the changes that have been made um, and hopefully get you through your own G07 uh, recapping. Okay so I'm about halfway done with this recapping job and so far these over here are the uh, capacitors that have been replaced so far and um, just a quick recap of what we've done so far we've replaced C 302 right there. We've replaced C403 right there. We've replaced uh, C407 right there. We have replaced C408 right there. It's kind of a little dark there. Uh, we've also replaced C411 back here, this big one. We've also replaced C412, which is this guy right here. 
And I believe this guy is actually maybe the culprit for my particular monitor. Um, when I removed that capacitor, it was pretty sticky and gooey. And you can kind of see down in there, it's really dark. And you can look at this capacitor and it's it's pretty sticky feeling to the touch. The other ones don't feel this way. And on the bottom of the circuit board, it looks like it's kind of leaked a little bit actually. I didn't notice that before. Until I want to take it off. Um, also, uh, so uh, you know, I'm hoping that's the one that fixes it. But I'm gonna go ahead and still continue to replace the rest of the caps. Anyways, um, we also did C504, which is right over here, and C506 which is also right over here kind of up at the top there okay so that's um, a quick recap of about halfway through the uh, conversion and we'll get back uh, after we do the other capacitors okay so I've gone ahead and completed replacing the other eight capacitors in this GO7 cap replacement kit um, over here you can see those are the eight other capacitors that were removed and replaced. And um, just a quick overview again of the capacitors that are replaced on this pass. Um, we've got C511, which is right there. So C511 right there on the right, the big one on the right. And then we've also got C517, which is this little one right here. C518, which is the one right above it. We've got C521, right there, that big one. And C523, this little one back here behind those bigger ones. And then we've also got C701, which is up here. Right there, C701. We also replaced C905, which is right there. C905. And then we've also got C107, which is on the CRT PCB board. That's C107. So. That's all 16 of the capacitors with this cap kit have been replaced. Okay, and here's a quick look at the G07 back in the chassis with the circuit board, the monitor, the suction cup, everything's hooked back up. Um, everything's been recapped, reconnected, and we're going to go ahead and put this puppy back in the centipede tabletop and see what happens okay so I've gone ahead and put the GO7 back in the Atari centipede cocktail table and um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in and uh, we'll see how it looks And there we go. So that's the uh, G07 monitor that we just got done recapping, put back in the table, plugged back in, and as you can see, uh, the picture looks really good and um, should hold up for quite a while now due to all the caps being replaced. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.